How are you guys doing? This is very important, too, in reference to tobacco products. This satellite man. Ask the satellite man if they were damaging my face and teeth because of tobacco products. Ask them what? We need to know exactly why you did this to my teeth. My dentist records are at the Supreme Court. My dentist records are at Windsor Castle in Europe and in Castle Versailles in France and in North Carolina and in all 50 states probably in America too. Reference to Treasury Department information. So in reference to the satellite man, they're messing with my throat. And what, what kind of disease are you making up? You think you're healthier than me? They need to check the health of these people that made these accusations. And check their financial portfolio, who they are. These people that made these accusations against me. The people that, they even have recordings of these people saying they wanted to jump me. They wanted to pick fights with me. They wanted to beat me up. We need those people's uh, information on YouTube too. These people said they wanted to murder me when I was little. You know, I had injuries. I had been shot when I was a little boy. Got shot in my father's mansion. These men tried to break into my father's mansion. And I had gotten shot a few times there at that time. And my father, was he was in a scuffle, a fight with these men that, that came into the house. Hello, Texaco Oil. How you guys doing? You guys have records of that in Texas? That needs to be uh, put on YouTube, too. Everything. All the information. And if dirty government tries to hide it or tries to censor the information, it's more lawsuits against government. You know, in reference to the government trying to play tricks, their criminal activity of them damaging things or them trying to steal things it's, you know illegal censorship crimes uh, manipulations and their activity of their photoshop tricks my teeth are really damaged that's not photoshop that's really damaged so in reference to the satellite man did you do that because you wanted to accuse me of what and don't forget these people that stole sperm and they illegally, artificially inseminated somebody of their race or their people, these people have tried to play this stupid game of trying to call me some uh, dumb old man or something. I'm one of the fastest athletes in the world. I'm a straight A student. You need to find out what the education of these people are that have they've stolen sperm. And they've slandered my character. What their financial family history is and where they came from. And in reference to their race and religion too. The people that are doing these things. And any other uh, human trafficking crimes of these people that stole my sperm. You know what I mean? But you know, in reference to these people. You need to ask them exactly why they damaged my teeth. My x-rays are documented of my face and teeth. Didn't they put certain injury reports that I have had when these people have shot at me or they tried to jump me on jobs? Government agents tried to sneak in the back door of a job where I was working at. And they tried to shoot me or they tried to murder me in the restaurant industry and other places. And a reference to people that tried to kidnap me uh, from different jobs, different places. Needs to be on record, man. And don't forget, Warner Brothers Studios and RKO Studios and Hollywood and Walt Disney World, they have they should have reports of some of these people back in the day from when they tried to murder me or they tried to kidnap me back in you know the 70s or 80s and when they did kidnap me and things like that. All those studios need to make uh, YouTube videos. They need to get a spokesperson to make YouTube videos about the history of what criminals had kidnapped me from the studios, which people tried to steal my career. Because, you know, I used to dress up as a different artist and different character and shows and movies and TV shows and things like that. Lots of things of importance. But in reference to these people that damaged my teeth, you know, I've had a perfect, 100% perfect dentistry record. 
my whole life, and then these people damaged my teeth. So we need their information for why they damaged my teeth. I took good care of my teeth, brushed my teeth, always took care of my teeth, and ate good nutrition. I've been a bodybuilder, an athlete, never done drugs. Vitamin supplements are vitamin supplements. They're not drugs. They're FDA approved. Yeah. You know, and, and, you know, food, restaurants, FDA approved products. I need the answer for why they damaged my teeth. Because they tried to make me look crazy? Because they wanted to murder me off? It's a violation. There's been restraining orders of anybody trying to get close to me, trying to damage my beauty. Don't forget those Supreme Court documents that says anybody trying to damage my face or teeth or anatomy must get apprehended. Even if it took an army to apprehend them as my mouth. Even if it took a even if it took an army to apprehend their people. <laughs> it's messing my mouth like that. Like, what are you doing? You're trying to make a chimpanzee upper lip or what? What you trying to do, man? What you trying to do? You did the shit. You did the crime damaging my teeth, man. From the first day. It's documented. <clears throat> and in reference to the satellite man, because, you know, they forced me to buy cigarettes, which, you know, smoking's legal. You know, I don't criticize people that they smoke cigarettes, whatever. You know, but in reference to, uh, you know, legal, regular cigarettes that you buy at every gas, any gas station or grocery store or whichever. Very important, you know. The point of information of these government people that have damaged my teeth, you know, look at the satellite information. You know, I had to go buy a pack of cigarettes because they were burning me. And they were they were trying to piss me off all the time. Because I just ran out of cigarettes and I had to go buy some cigarettes. Doesn't my mother have it on record that I was never supposed to have to pay for a pack of cigarettes? And isn't there a record that says I'm not even supposed to have to pay for a drop of gas at the gas station? And isn't there a record that says that my mother had court cases against Indiana about them holding me hostage and them demanding money from my mother back in the 80s? And they stole my Lamborghini that my mother had sent to me from Beverly Hills, or it was, uh, it was a uh, Lamborghini that my mother imported from Italy. Like it came from one of my uncles or associated uncle acknowledgments or whichever. Does anybody have that on record? And do I own any of the car dealerships in Beverly Hills or anywhere in New York or anywhere in reference to my mother or father's car dealerships or Mercedes or BMW? Can somebody look that up and tell them to send me a letter in the mail or put a letter in the mailbox about me picking up a car or something? Hello, Rolls Royce and other car companies or something, you know. But, you know, in reference to the satellite, man, get the, get the information. Because my mother and father said I could smoke cigarettes when I was, when I grew up, you know. I had candy cigarettes. And the candy cigarette company that makes the candy fake cigarettes, they have lawsuits against these government people, too, for damaging my face and teeth. Those government people need to go to court. But we need all the answers for why these people damaged my teeth and face. And why they tried to steal my penis. And why they tried to steal my identity. Do you know the identity and race of these people that tried to steal my identity? Does, does the Koreans, the Chinese, Japanese, Taiwanese, Malaysians, and, and South America, Canada, Mexico, and America. Does everybody know who these people are? And where they came from that tried to steal my identity? Because every country needs to know. And it is obligatory of the American government to tell every country in the world which people are trying to steal my identity. They hit my throat again. You know that, right? The United States government is obligated 100% to inform all 
countries of which people have tried to murder me, which people have tried to steal my identity, which people have stolen monies that I was supposed to have received, or they tried to steal my benefits, or they tried to steal lawsuit monies or insurance monies, or they tried to steal Hanukkah gifts or Christmas gifts. The United States government is obligated to tell every country which people have been terrorizing my life and which people have been stealing from me, which people damaged my face and teeth, which people tried to steal my penis, which people tried to steal sperm and blood. The United States government is obligated and the United Nations is supposed to know the information. And all the treasury departments around the world are supposed to be informed of the information of which people are doing this. And other, you know, organizations of other countries or Europe and, and people are supposed to know the names. And they're supposed to have real factual pictures of these people's identities that are trying to steal my identity and the people that are trying to steal my family wealth and family history. Hello, John Paul Getty Museum. How you doing?